Uh. <laughs> okay, huh? Elmo, it's bedtime. Uh -huh. It's important that you get a good night's sleep, son. Oh, but isn't Daddy forgetting the last part of Elmo's bedtime routine? Oh, well, let's see. Uh, you brushed your teeth, yeah. uh, took a bath, uh -huh. you got your PJs on. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, what is next in our bedtime routine? <laughs> Story time! <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, Elmo's sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, which story should we read tonight? Well, you and baby David are in luck. I have a story about ducks right here. <laughs> this book is called Quack, Quack, My Duckies Came Back. Here we go. Wait a minute, Daddy. Oh, well. oh, you have to quack more like a duck. Oh, you know, oh. quack, 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 quack. Oh, oh. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. <laughs> yeah, that's uh -huh. better. <laughs> you, hey, how about you and baby David help me quack when we get to that part of the story? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you can quack along with us, too. <laughs> hmm. Okay. This story is about a little monster and his ducks. Oh, wait a minute, Daddy. Uh, oh, oh, a little monster like Elmo? Oh, 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 Daddy, can Elmo be in the story, please? Oh, of course you can be in the story. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Elmo and four ducks went to the lake to play. Suddenly... One duck swam away. <laughs> Elmo said, Ducky dear, please come back. <laughs> All the ducky said was... Oh, here comes the quacking. Quack, quack, quack. quack, quack. quack. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo, huh? where do you think that ducky went? Um, oh, Elmo thinks that the ducky went home for snack time. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Elmo and the three ducks played happily, flapping like ducks do. <laughs> then, surprise, before Elmo's eyes, uh, away another flew. Elmo said, Ducky dear, please come back. All the ducky said was, quack, quack, quack. quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, why do you think that ducky flew away, Elmo? Oh, <laughs> with two ducks, Elmo played peekaboo. Peekaboo! <laughs> they laughed and had such fun. Then, uh-oh, time to go. Another duck had to run. Elmo said, Ducky dear, please come back. But all Ducky said was, quack, quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> now, where did that ducky go? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> One duck and Elmo, happy as can be, <laughs> skipped and jumped until the ducky lay down and rolled down the hill. <laughs> Elmo said, Ducky dear, please come back. All ducky said was, quack, quack, quack. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's keep reading and find out. Okay. There Elmo was, all alone. But he knew how to get the four duckies back. Elmo took a deep breath and began to quack. Oh, here we go. Quack, 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 quack. So that was a lot of quacks. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <clears throat> And just like that, the ducks came back. Yay! A monster and four birds, happy as ever. They had fun and all played together. Quack, quack, quack. quack, quack. quack. <laughs> the end. Oh, Daddy, Elmo loved that story. I love that story, too. Yeah, it really quacks me up. Ha, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Good night. Oh, oh, good night. Oh, Daddy. Hmm? Oh, Elmo loves you more than cheese and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, son. <laughs> night, night.
Hi everybody, it's Alan from Sesame Street. Now during these challenging times, it's important to remember that whether you're a monster, a big bird, a grouch, or a snuffleupagus, that we can all do our part to keep each other healthy. We are all in this together. It doesn't matter if we look the same or if we look different. What's important is that we show kindness and love to each other. And speaking of love, I have a book that I want to read to you today, and it is called Love from Sesame Street. What do you think? Should we read it? Yeah. All right. I do too. Let's read it. All right. This is Love from Sesame Street, and illustrations are by Ernie Quatt. Love is a sunny day. And look who's drawing that. That's our good friend, Big Bird. That's right. Love is dancing by yourself to your favorite song. Just like our good friend, who is that? That's right, that's Zoe. And she loves to dance. Hey, do you guys like to dance? Here, let me see it. Let me see you do a little dance. Good job. Love is being an everyday hero, like our friend, Super Grover. And you know what? We have a lot of everyday heroes to thank right now. We can thank our doctors and our nurses and other first responders. We can thank our teachers, trash collectors, pharmacists, mail and package carriers, and grocery store workers. They are all everyday heroes right now. That's right. So thank them all. Thank you. Love is infinite, bigger than all of the numbers. And our good friend Count always says, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Love comes in all shapes and sizes, big, small, and in between. Love is building something together, like all of them. Love is giggles and kisses and hugs and squishes. <laughs> oh, look, this is Elmo with his parents and he's giving them a big hug. Give your parents a big hug right now too, all right? You're gonna do it, ooh, squeeze really hard. All right, good job. Love sings in every language. And here's Rosita and Elmo singing, la la la, la la la. Sing it with me. La, 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 la. Nice job. Love is being kind to all your best friends and being kind to everyone you meet, right? That's right. Love makes all kinds of sounds and these guys are honkers. And you know what they do? They hit their nose and then they go, honk, 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 honk. Are you doing that with me? Let's do it. Honk, 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 honk. Yes, that's fun, right? Love is accepting life even when it is messy. And there's Oscar our Grouch saying, I like it messy. <laughs> Love is an amazing family and a soft bunny. And who is that? Do you guys know who that is? That's right, that's our good friend Julia with her family and her soft bunny. And that bunny's name is Fluffster. Love is cookies, and then more cookies! And look at our friend Cookie Monster. Hey, do you guys know how Cookie Monster eats his cookies? Here, hold up a cookie, and then eat it like Cookie Monster. That's right. Love is magical and full of wonder, just like our friend Abby. There's Abby. Love is everywhere and all around us just like you are surrounded by your Sesame Street friends. The end. All right, that was fun. Did you like that? You know what? I loved reading this book to you and being here with you. So everyone, be kind, show some love, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Georgie Coughlin, and one of my favorite things to do in the whole wide world is read. And that's why I'm so excited that Sesame Street and Big W are helping kids all across Australia get their hands on books 
just like these. So get yourself comfy and join me for story time with some of our favourite friends. So this book is called I Love You Just Like This and it's written by Lily and Jane and illustrated by Ernie Quatt. Elmo and his mummy were talking late one night, snuggled up together, cosy, warm and tight. I love you, mummy, Elmo whispered in her ear. Elmo's mummy smiled. I love you too, my dear. I've loved you all your life, every single day. I love you oh so much. I'll tell you all the ways. I love you brighter than one sun up in the sky. I love you softer than two clouds floating by. I love you sweeter than three crunchy yummy treats. I love you bigger than four giant hairy feet. I love you spookier than five big flying bats. I love you taller than six tall towering hats. I love you more than the number seven, eight or nine. I love you more than one through ten combined. I'd love you if you were big or very, very small. I'd love you if you were short or really, really tall. I love you when you're fast or even when you're slow. I love you more than you will ever really know. I always love you on a bright and sunny day. I also love you when the rain won't go away. I love to be with you through seasons, one and all. I love you all the flowers of spring and all the leaves of fall. I love you when you're near. I love you when you're far. I love you all the time, no matter where you are. I love you often, always, and time and time again, I love you from the beginning to the very end. Now I'll give you a hug and you give me a kiss and don't ever forget, I love you just like this. Oh, isn't that a gorgeous story? It's the end. I love story time so, so much. Thank you so much for joining me and let's read another story together again soon. The monster at the end of this book. What did that say? On the first page. What did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? <gasps> it did? Oh, I am so scared of monsters. Shh. Listen, I have an idea. If you do not turn any pages, we will never get to the end of this book. And that is good because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please do not turn the page. You turned the page. Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. But this will stop you from turning pages, see? I am tying the pages together so you cannot. You turned another page. You do not know what you are doing to me. Now stop turning pages. There, I, Grover, am nailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it. And we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. Bonk, bam, bing, clonk, bonk, bing, good. Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. This will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid, strong brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. 
know that you are very strong? The next page is the end of this book, and there is a monster at the end of this book. <gasps> oh, I'm so scared. Please, please, do not turn the page. Please, please, please. Well, look at that. This is the end of the book, and the only one here is me. I, lovable furry old Grover, am the monster at the end of this book. And you were so scared. The end. I told you and told you there was nothing to be afraid of. Oh, I am so embarrassed. Hi, Elmo, Abby, mm. what's up? Oh, we're just playing tag. Uh, what you reading, Louise? Oh, this is a book about a wonderful little boy named Augie. <gasps> it's called We're All Wonders by R.J. Palacio. <laughs> Want me to read it to you? Oh, sure, Louise. Elmo loves story time. Yeah, me too. Ooh, cool helmet. Looks like a spaceman. Yeah, yeah. Louise, does Augie go to space? I don't know. Let's read and see. Good idea. Oh. I know I'm not an ordinary kid. Hey, look, look, there's Augie. Oh, and look, his steps look just like Elmo's have. Yes, they do. Yeah, and look, he's got a doggy. Oh, what's the doggy's name? Let's read and see. <laughs> okay. Sure, I do ordinary things, like ride a bike. Hey, just like Elmo rides his tricycle. I eat ice cream. Wait. Is that birdie gonna use ice cream? <laughs> I play ball. Robbie and Elmo love to play ball. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't look ordinary. I don't look like other kids. Oh, you know, Luis, Elgie's face is different than the other kids. Everybody's different, you know? Uh, yeah. You know, look over here with this little girl here. Uh -huh. She's uh, blonde and she's got a, a ponytail. Right. And, and that little boy right next to her, he's got red hair, mm -hmm. right? This little girl over here has got dark skin. Yeah. And uh, this boy on this side over here, he's got light skin. So see, we all look different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's read on. Okay. My mom says I'm unique. She says I'm a wonder. My dog, Daisy, agrees. Oh, that's the doggy's name, Daisy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Elmo likes that name. <laughs> yeah, but some people don't see that I'm a wonder. All they see is how different I look. But you said that everyone looks different, right, Luis? That's right. But sometimes people aren't kind about our differences. Oh. Sometimes they stare at me. They point or laugh. What? Well, that's not very kind. No. No. They even say mean things behind my back. But I can hear them. Boy, that makes Elmo feel sad. It's, it's, it's not kind to say mean things about people. No. It hurts my feelings. It hurts Daisy's feelings, too. Boy, Elmo just wishes that Elmo could give Augie a great big hug. Yeah, and Daisy too. Yeah. He looks so sad, even that little birdie looks sad. Yeah. Mm. When that happens, I put on my helmet. Oh, look, there's the helmet. Uh -huh. I put Daisy's helmet on too. And then we blast off. <laughs> up, 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 up through the clouds. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Across the galaxy. Oh, wow, look at all those pretty stars. It's so magical. Uh-huh. All the way to Pluto. We say hello to old friends. Wow. Hey, look at all the aliens. Yeah, they all look like Augie. Uh-huh. Yes, they do. From far away, the Earth looks so small. I can't see any people, but I know they're there. Billions of people, people of all different colors, people who walk and talk differently, people who look different, like me. <laughs> the Earth is big enough for all kinds of people. Uh, you know, if Emma looks real, real hard, look, Emma thinks he could see Sesame Street. Oh, yeah, I think I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. If they do, they'll see that I'm a wonder. Hey, look, that boy wants to play with Augie. Uh, are they friends, Louise? Uh, yeah, I think they're going to be. <laughs> and they'll see that they're wonders too. We're all wonders. Uh, oh, um, that boy knows that it's okay to be different, right, Louise? That's right. Yeah. As you know, he doesn't care how Augie or anybody looks. He just wants to play ball, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's true. Oh, look. The birdie likes him, too. <laughs> yes. Look with kindness, and you will always find wonder. Wow. The end. <laughs> wow. Huh? Boy, that was a great story, Louise. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for reading to us. <laughs> You're very welcome. We are all wonders. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. uh Louise, mm -hmm. uh, do you think you can read it again? Oh, yeah. To see Augie and Daisy go to space again. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Okay. <laughs> We're all wonders. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know I'm not an ordinary kid, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hi there, it's Alan from Sesame Street. Now I know we're all getting used to a new way of doing things. But you know what? We are here for each other. So I thought it might be fun today to read a story together. Do you want to do that? Should we read a story? All right, let's do it. This is one of my favorite books, and it's called Another Monster at the End of This Book by John Stone and illustrated by Michael Smolin. And it stars two of our furry little friends. Who's this blue guy right here? That's right, that is Grover. And our red furry little friend, that's right, that's Elmo. All right, let's read the book. <clears throat> Grover says, Elmo, I am not going to the end of this book if there is a monster there. Monsters are not to be trifled with. I am going to stay right here on the first page. And then Elmo says, Okay, Mr. Grover, Elmo will go see the monster all by himself. Turn the page, please. I guess we better turn the page. <laughs> All right. Grover says, will you please stop turning pages? Every time you turn a page, we get closer to the monster at the end of this book. Elmo, come with me. We are going home now. Elmo? Elmo? Where are you? And Elmo says, turn the page. So we better turn the page. All right. Grover says, Elmo, do you not understand that at the end of this book there is a monster? It could be a nice furry monster like you or me or Cookie or Harry. But it could also be a very big, scary, hungry monster with sharp teeth and claws and an attitude. Therefore, I am putting these hundreds of paper clips here just to remind you that we are not going to the end of this book. And then Elmo says, yes, Mr. Grover, turn the page, please. And look, see all the paper clips? All the paper clips. All right, next page. And then Grover says, all right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I have now taken all your alphabet blocks and built a huge castle right here. No one can turn the page now. And then Elmo says, turny, turny, turn, turn. All right, so we better turny, turny, turn, turn, right? All right. And then Grover says, enough is enough. I, Grover, am now gluing this page down so you cannot turn it. And if you cannot turn the page, we will not get to the monster at the end of this book. And then Elmo says, do it. So we better do it. All right, let's turn the page. All right, Grover says, Elmo, please, please forget about seeing the monster at the end of this book and come back with me to the beginning of the book. Please, pretty please. And then Elmo says, little Elmo wants to see the monster. Turn the page. So we better turn the page. All right. And then Grover says, this will stop you from turning pages. I, Grover, have put up a thick steel wall so no one can ever, 
ever turn this page. What do you say to that little Elmo? 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 Where are you, Elmo? And then from the other side of the wall, Elmo says, Elmo is on the next page. So we better turn the page. And then Grover says, all right, we will go see the monster, but just one little peek. So listen carefully. You tiptoe around to the back of the book. I, Grover, will stay here. When I say turn the page, you jump in from the back of the book, and I will jump in from the front. We will see the monster, and then we will run like bunny rabbits. And Elmo likes that idea. All right, let's see what happens. Then Grover says, are you at the back of the book, little Elmo? And Elmo says, yes, Mr. Grover. Grover says, then here we go. One, two, get ready to turn the page and then run like a bunny rabbit. Three, turn the page. Let's turn the page. Aye! They both yell at each other. And let me turn the page. Then Grover says, I never thought that the monster at the end of this book would be you, little Elmo. And Elmo says, no, no, Mr. Grover, you are the monster at the end of this book. I saw you. Then they both say, you, 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 and Elmo says, Elmo is going back two pages to see the monster again. The end. <laughs> Did you like that book? I hope so. All right, we're going to read some more books very soon, okay? I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, I'm Ali Langdon and I love to read. I especially love to read with my family, which is why I'm so excited to help my friends at Sesame Street and Big W share my love of reading with you. So get your family together and let's read a beautiful book together. It's one of my favorite Sesame Street books, What is Family on Sesame Street? It's written by Craig Manning and the pictures are by Ernie Quatt. When you think of a family, what comes to mind? How would you describe it? Which words do you find? No exact meaning quite fits like a glove, except maybe this one. It's all about love. From the day you were born, your family is there to protect and support you and show you they care. They raise you and teach you and watch as you grow and do what they can to let their love show. Do you know who that is? But it's not just parents who will see you through. Grandmas and grandpas make up family too. They pass down traditions and wisdom galore. And let's be honest, they spoil you more. Some families are large while others are small, but it's not about size or numbers at all. A family can add up to any amount. What matters is making together time count. Sometimes a family is a party of two, that one special person you love most and you. Someone you can run to who makes it okay if you stumble a bit or have a bad day. We sometimes have those, don't we? A good time with family can take any form. You can play together quietly or dance and perform. You can fill your days with fun and the silliest songs. When it comes to family, there's no right or wrong. All families are colorful in their own way, from pink, green, and blue to white, black, and gray. Each canvas is different, a true work of art, with each face and voice playing its unique part. What's better than sharing a smile with your mother or giggling along with your dad and your brother? Families make memories by laughing out loud, for laughter is best when it's shared with a crowd. Cooking and baking, eating and sharing, these moments with families are all about caring. It's best when you're together, 
all in one place with food and love all around like a cozy embrace. There will be days that you spend far apart, but familia is always right there in your heart and letters and phone calls or chats on a screen can shrink all the miles stretched out in between. Families can change and evolve now and then. New members may join and you'll gain a new friend. Having new siblings or more than one home just means love goes with you wherever you roam. Some family is chosen in groups or in pairs. You want them as your family, they want you as theirs. Just having a friend love the same things as you is more than enough to make them family too. The older you get, the more you will see so many new branches on your family tree. Like an oak or a willow, love grows as it should till your family includes your whole neighbourhood. It's not just about who shares your last name or whether your nose, eyes or ears look the same. Family means more than just who you're born to. So what is a family? Well, here's one more clue. What's it say? Home sweet home. It's your parents and grandparents, siblings and friends, and the love that you feel as every day ends. It's a hug or a high five or a song that you sing. A home is love, hope and family, and that's everything. The end. Wasn't it great getting to see all our favourite Sesame Street characters and their friends? Thank you so much for reading the book with me. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Hi everybody, this is Olivia Newton-John and I'm going to read you a beautiful book that was written by Lillian Jane and illustrated by Mary Beth Nelson and it's called All Tucked In on Sesame Street. Don't you love that cover? It's time for bed on Sesame Street, but Elmo just can't get to sleep. He's counted sheep from one to ten and then back down to one again. But still he sits with open eyes and looks out at the starry skies. So now let's sing a special song to let him sleep the whole night long. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let Twiddlebugs steal the blanket tonight. Twiddlebugs welcome. End the day with a bedtime treat. Something tasty, something sweet. That's what I like to do. Take a bath with your favorite toy with bubbles that you'll both enjoy. Now you're warm and dry, just right. Brush your teeth all clean and white. Pull on your jammies, the coziest pair. At bedtime, they're the thing to wear. Read a book and you will see all the things that you can be. Find a star and make a wish. A bike, a book, perhaps a fish. Now pull the covers up to your chin. Look at that, you're all tucked in. Start at five and count to one. Turn out the lights when you are done. Sleep comes in every shape and way. It's the perfect end to a perfect day. The time has come to close your eyes. Each dream will bring a new surprise. Sweet sueños, that means dreams. Good night, sleep tight. Now our song is at an end. The time has come for sleep, my friend. Let's give our hugs and kisses too. And then we'll say, good night to you. And that's it. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah, I'm about to read a story. <laughs> oh, hi, Gordon. Hey, Abby, oh, Elmo, hi. hey, you ready for story time? <laughs> uh, huh? Well, uh, actually, uh, sorry, what? Gordon, oh. uh, we can't 
can't stay for story time. You today. can't. Yeah, no, oh. it, it's just that we're gonna play a game with Chris, oh. and we're gonna find things that are different. Yeah, I'm that same. Wow. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> no, that sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see you later, Grandma. Yeah. Okay, Bye. have a good time. Bye. 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 <laughs> hey, well, what do you know? This book is called "We're Different." We're the same. You know, I, I, I bet this could help them. Hey, Abby, Elmo! I, oh, well. I'll, I'll, I'll show them later. Okay, here we go. We're different, we're the same. <laughs> Written by Bobby Cates and illustrated by Joe Matthew. Let's read. We're different. Our noses are different. We're the same. Our noses are the same. They breathe and sniff and sneeze and whiff. Our hair is different. See all the different kinds of hair? It can be curly or straight. Hair can be any color of the rainbow. You can have long hair, short hair, or no hair at all. Our hair is the same. It grows on us in several places. It warms our heads and frames our faces. Our mouths are different. Our mouths are the same. Their lips form the words we say and smile when it's a happy day. Our skin is different. Look at all the beautiful colors skin can be. Peachy, tan. My skin is golden brown. Our skin is the same. It tells us something's cold or hot or wet or dry, it knows a lot. Muscles and bones are wrapped inside it. We all have blood and skin to hide it. It keeps in warmth, it keeps out dirt. It warns us so we don't get hurt. Our eyes are different. So many different eye sizes, eye shapes, and eye colors. Some people wear glasses or a monocle like the Count to help their eyes see better. Our eyes are the same. They see, they blink, they weep, they wink. Our bodies are different. Our bodies are the same. They stretch and bend and work and play. They all need food and rest each day. They dance and wriggle and ride a bike. They might look different, but they're alike. Our feelings are different. He feels sad. See, he's crying. Look at her happy smile. And Oscar the Grouch, well, he's grouchy as ever. Our feelings are the same. Lonely, worried, scared, excited, happy, loving, glad, delighted. We're the same. We're different. That's what makes the world such fun. Many kinds of people, not just one, a rainbow would be boring if it were only green or blue. What makes a rainbow beautiful is that it has every hue. So aren't you glad you look like you? We're different. We're the same. We're wonderful. The end. <laughs> Guys, you're back! Yeah, yeah. we figured it out! We you figured did. out what's different and what's oh, the same. 
Oh, really? What? What? Well, us, yeah. Elmo oh. and Abby are different and the same. Yeah? How? Well, look, pink arm, uh -huh. red arm, different. Yes, right. But they both wiggle and jiggle the same. Hey, you're right. Good <laughs> job, guys. Yeah. Very good. Thanks, Granddad. <laughs> Yeah, my friends, I'm Mitch Tambo, and I'm thrilled to be here to share with you all my love for reading. Books are where we get to go on adventures and discover new worlds together. My friends at Sesame Street and Big W are making sure all kids in Australia don't miss out on books just like this one. So let's find out what our favourite furry friends are up to. Just One You by Lillian Jane, illustrated by Joe Matthew. This is a story that's all about you and all the spectacular things that you do. So please come along and we'll show you it's true. There is just one and only wonderful you. Look all around and here's what you'll find. You are unique. You're one of a kind. The smile on your face is like no smile I've seen. You're one special person, if you know what I mean. Look at the cookie monster. He's eating cookies. Look at the, look at the pile. Look at the cookie. He loves cookies, the cookie monster. Wow, so many cookies. Your mind's full of magic to thrill and delight. Even on dark days, you make the world bright. No job is too big, no task is too small. No matter what comes, you tackle it all. That is such a great attitude. Look at Elmo. What do you think he's off to do? Is he off to play football? I don't think so. He has a watering can. I think he's off to water the garden. You're strong and you're brave. You're a grand superhero. You give 100%. You never give zero. You dance and you dream from dusk until dawn. Don't ever stop trying. We'll cheer you on. Your adventures may take you away from your home, but your best friends will be there wherever you roam. Everyone knows how terrific you are. We've always been sure that you will go far. Because even if something doesn't quite go your way, you will turn things around the very next day. That is such a good attitude to have. So, so very important. You're perfect as you are. There's no one who's better. So be true to yourself and always remember. There is just one you. No other person does the things that you do. Look at him counting away. One, three, five, eight, two, four, six, nine, ten, and one. Yes, it's absolutely positively true. There's just one and only wonderful you. The end. What a beautiful message. There's only one you and only one me too. Thank you so much for reading with me today. I hope we can do it again real soon. Bye for now. Yanni on Gully. Brrrr. Gully! Bob! Oh. Bob! Hi, oh Elmo. Bob. Hi. What uh -oh. you got there? Oh, wait, Elmo borrowed this really cool book from the library. And, um, well, Elmo was wondering if maybe Bob could read it to Elmo. Oh, oh please, sure, please, please. sure, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, it's, wait a minute, it's called Goodnight Numbers, Elmo. Oh. I, I think it's a, I think it's a bedtime story. And it's still daylight, see? The sun's still out. Oh, well, that's okay, Bob. Just so excited about learning about numbers that Elmo doesn't want to wait until bedtime. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's called Good Night Numbers, written by Danica McKellar and illustrated by Alicia Padron. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. Are you ready? Ready. All right, here we go. Okay. One. Good night, one fork. Good night, one spoon. Good night, one bowl. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Oh, what? what? <laughs> Saying goodnight to a fork, a bowl, and a spoon, it was never 
never heard of anything so silly. I haven't either. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Oh. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good oh, night. Good night. Good night, Swan. Huh. Okay. That is silly. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> two. Uh -huh. Good night, two hands. Good night, two feet. Good night, two ears. So small and sweet. <laughs> oh, Emma? Yeah? Can you find two of anything else here? Um, oh, oh, there are one, two kittens playing. Right. Good <laughs> counting. Thank you, Bob. Oh, you're welcome. Three. Good night, three wheels. Good night, three cans. Good night, all trucks <laughs> and pots and pans. <laughs> oh, 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 look, Bob. There are threes all over this page. Yeah. One, two, three trucks. Mm -hmm. One, two, three wheels on a tricycle. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three pillows. Wow. That is so cool. You're very, very good at this. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, anytime. <laughs> Four. Good night, four paws. Good night, kitty cat. <laughs> Good night, four froggies on the bathroom mat. Oh, look, Bob. Emma likes the black mat with the four froggies. Look, there's mm -hmm. one, two, three, four froggies. Mm -hmm, there certainly are. <laughs> four froggies. What yeah. do you know about that? Five. Good night, five points. Good night, little star. Good night, Five splashes. <laughs> they go really far. <laughs> Can you find five of anything else here, Elmo? Um, oh, yeah, Elmo sees one, two, three, four, five balls. Mm -hmm. and one, two, three, four, five fishies. You're sharp today. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> six. Good night, six snaps. Good night, Mr. Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, six blocks with six sides each. <laughs> Emma likes Mr. Peach with his funny top hat. I know, that is funny, isn't Why, it? thank Mr. you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank Mr. Peach, you, Mr. Peach. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. Man, I, Mr. Peach is something else. Yeah, who knew? Yeah. Seven. Good night, seven days. Good night, whole week. Good night, seven teeth. So clean they squeak. Oh, 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 Bob, every night before Elmo goes to bed, Elmo brushes his teeth. See? That's a great <laughs> idea. Let me see. Oh, squeaky clean. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Eight. Good night, eight arms. Good night, tall vine. Good night, eight sides on the red stop sign. <laughs> Now, now that's really silly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you know how many tentacles an octopus has? Oh, like uh, 49. Or... No, 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 no. Count. Come on. Oh, count oh, them. Okay. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight tentacles. Absolutely. Yay. Eight tentacles. Good counting again. Yeah. You're getting better and better. Ow. <laughs> nine. Good night, nine butterflies. Good night, nine bars. Good night to the moon and countless stars. <laughs> oh. Are you getting sleepy? A little bit. Okay, yeah. hang on. We're almost at the end of the okay. book. Okay. Okay. Ten. Good night, ten fingers. Good night, ten toes. Good night to the world. And everyone knows... Numbers are around us, like really good friends. Yeah. Good night to all the numbers. Good night and the end. <laughs> Did you like the story, Elmo? Oh, Elmo loved it, Bob. Me too. And, you know, all this counting, oh, he's making Elmo really sleepy. Yeah. Oh, Elmo thinks that Elmo's going to go take a nap. <laughs> That's probably a very good idea. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Anytime. Bye-bye, Elmo. You know... I love reading to Elmo, and, and this is a terrific book, but uh, it does make you a little bit sleepy. Slumber party! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh God. Oh, all right. Oh, slumber. Oh, oh. oh. oh, oh hi, everybody. Oh, Elmo's here with Elmo's friend, Miss Rose. Hi, Elmo. Hi, everybody. El
Elmo and I were just about to read a book together. Yeah, Elmo loves books. Me too. Books can tell us amazing stories and let us use our imagination to take us to new places and be anyone we want to be. Like, uh... <laughs> a pirate! Yes! Or, uh... <laughs> Elmo. Do you have a favorite book, Elmo? Yeah, let's see if Miss Rose can guess Elmo's favorite story. <clears throat> Elmo will huff and Elmo will puff. Mm, is your favorite story The Three Little Piggies? Nothing by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Yeah, that's right. The Three Little Piggies. Oh, oh, oh. does Miss Rose know this book? <clears throat> This porridge is too cold. This porridge is too hot. This porridge is just right. Am I talking to Elmo Locks? Yeah! <laughs> Elmo loves the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears. As you can see, Elmo and I love talking about books. That is why Elmo and all of his friends at Sesame Street have teamed up with Big W to give away books throughout Australia. That's right, mates! Shall we read a book together? Yeah, great idea! Oh, you know what? Elmo's gonna get cozy. But Elmo will see everybody after the story. Bye-bye. Bye! This story is called Dream with Sesame Street. Words by Susanna Leonard Hill. Pictures by Mary Beth Nelson. A dream can be big or a dream can be small. What matters the most is to have dreams at all. Ambitious, creative, outrageous, concrete, or close to your heart, something simple and sweet. A dream can be near or a dream can be far. It even can push you to reach for the stars. Wherever you go, way up to new heights, if you keep trying, your dreams will take flight. Though beginning seems hard with no ending in sight, each story begins with the first word you write. A single note starts the most beautiful song. One step gets your dreams up and moving along. When things don't work out in just the right ways, remember you grow from having those bad days. Don't be scared of a monster hiding on the next page. Keep learning, keep dreaming, no matter your age. Since one person's trash is another one's treasure, your dreams are not subject to anyone's measure. Even if others may not think it's best, the road to success is your own special quest. It's perfectly fine to do things your own way. However you do them, it's always okay. How boring if everyone did things the same. So imagine, have fun and play your own game. Sometimes big ideas don't go as you planned. Giant leaps lead to stumbles and falls when you land. But pick yourself up. Try again the next day. Get back on that stage. Everything is A-OK. -okay. A wand isn't needed to make dreams come true. The magic you need is already in you. Forget about fairy dust, potions and spells. You've got all you need to succeed and excel. If your dream is too big to complete on your own, teamwork is better than working alone. You always can ask a good friend for advice and working together sure does feel nice. If you're worried about making a lot of mistakes and wondering whether you have what it takes, remember you don't need a superhero's cape. Just believe in yourself and your dreams will take shape. Though you're sure to have days when you can't try a smile, look on the sweet side of life for a while. Cookies and milk sweep the grey clouds away and bring you right back to a bright sunny day. Some dreams you will hold very close to your heart and others are better when friends can take part. If your dream feels like it will never come true, keep in mind you're surrounded by those who love you. You're amazing and smart in all that you do. Count your blessings for all that is given to you. Make every day count to achieve something new. Every day is a chance for a dream to come true. Although you work hard toward your dreams every day, make sure you take time out to giggle and play. Be happy, be silly, make a funny face. 
Reaching your dreams is not some big race. When one dream is realized, then the next can shine through, pushing you forward to try something new. Never stop dreaming whatever you do. He's wishing that all of your dreams will come true. The end. <laughs> that was a great story, Miss Rose. Elmo loved it. What do you dream about, Elmo? Hmm, what does Elmo dream about? Oh, oh well, Elmo dreams about making his very own book one day. But you know what? Elmo can't write yet. That's okay, Elmo. You can still tell a story with just pictures. Just grab some crayons and some paper and make your own picture book. Hey, that's a great idea, Miss Rose. <laughs> oh, 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 but before Elmo does that, maybe we could read another book? I was hoping that you would say that. What do you want to read next? Uh, oh, let's read a book about outer space. Or animals? Or, oh, Humpty Dumpty, a classic. <laughs> yes, I love Humpty Dumpty. Okay. Happy reading, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Fluffster. <laughs> Fluffster. That's a great drawing of Fluffster, Julia. Hey, I have an idea. How about we make up an imaginary story together from your drawings? <laughs> story? Okay, this is a story about Julia's bunny, Fluffster. <laughs> He's super Fluffster. Okay, okay. This is a story about Super Fluffster. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're right. Fluffster needs superhero music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> super Fluffster helps people. Whether your ball is stuck in a tree or you need someone to play on the swing set with. Super Fluffster is here to help everybody, even outer space aliens. <laughs> One day, Fluffster heard some strange noises from outer space with his super bunny hearing. Yip, yip, yip. yip. The aliens were in trouble, and Fluffster wanted to help them. Fluffster, fly! Fluffster jumped in his super duper cool rocket ship and flew into outer space to help the aliens on the planet. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> it's a great name. Fluffster found the aliens on the planet Yip Yip stuck in sticky slime. Oh no, sticky. I know you don't like sticky things, Julia. The aliens don't either. Uh-uh. Luckily, Super Fluffster... Dun, da, da, da. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. ...used his super strength to help the aliens and pull them out of the icky, sticky slime. <laughs> the aliens thanked Super Fluffster. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> that means thank you in alien. And then... Fluffster home. That's right. Having saved the day, Fluffster took off his cape and returned to his best friend, Julia. Fluffster! The, the end. end. Thanks, Julia. I really loved your drawings. Julia, Samuel. That's us. Hey, let's make a story about super siblings. Super Samuel and Super Julia. Uh, come on, let's get more paper. Hi there, I'm Rove McManus and I love reading, just like you, I'm sure. Reading is so much fun because books can take you anywhere at all. And thank you very much, my friends at Sesame Street and Big W for giving me the opportunity today to share my love of reading with you. I'm so glad you're here to share with me one of my favourite Sesame Street books. It's called The Monster at the end of this book. Have you read this one before? Look, it stars, as it says here, the lovable furry old Grover. There he is. And it's by John Stone and illustrated by Mike Smolin. Look at Grover. Hello, everybody! That's, I won't do the voice the whole way through, don't panic. Let's see what happens. The monster at the end of this book, it says. This is a very dull page. What's on the next page? Grover says. <gasps> he looks very scared. What did that say? What did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? <gasps> it did. Oh, I'm so scared of monsters. Grover does not want us to read this book. That's the big message I'm getting so far. 
Shh. Listen, I have an idea. Okay, guys, huddle up, huddle up. If you do not turn any pages, we will never get to the end of this book. And that is good because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please do not turn the page. I mean, I'd love to, Grover, but that's kind of part of the fun of reading is getting to the end. Sorry. <gasps> He's onto us. You turned the page. Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book and there is a monster at the end of this book. But this will stop you from turning pages. See, I am tying the pages together so you cannot. Look, I'll give him that. He has done an amazing job of getting all this rope and tying it into some very strong knots so that we can't turn the page. Well, I wonder if we can. Ah, you turned another page. You do not know what you were doing to me. Now stop turning pages. Wow. Oh, look at this now. He's building something out of wood with a hammer and some nails. Lots of sounds here. Boom, bang, bink, bonk, clonk. There, I, Grover, am nailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it and we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. Now, I have never heard of anybody nailing a page to another page. Grover is really, really trying to make sure we do not get to the end of this book. Oh, looks like we broke through it though. All right, all right, all right. Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. Look, that is true. Look at all the dust, ripped pages, bits of wood and rope. We are getting a bit messy, fair enough. Aha, uh -huh. this will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid, strong brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. Oh! There goes the wall. Do you know that you are very strong? He's in there still. You'll be right, Grover. The next page is the end of this book and there is a monster at the end of this book. Oh, I am so scared. Look, he really is. Look at that face. He's pleading, guys, please. Do not turn this page. Please, please, please. I think we should. What's gonna happen? The monster. <gasps> Can I look? Wait, well, look at that. This is the end of the book and the only one here is me. I, lovable furry old Grover, am the monster at the end of this book. And you were so scared. I told you and told you there was nothing to be afraid of. Mm, that's not how I remember it. What about you? Yeah, I think we all know Grover was pretty scared and it was him all along. Oh, I am so embarrassed. <laughs> See, that was a funny book. I like Grover, he cracks me up. The monster at the end of this book. Why don't you grab this book for yourself and you can read it whenever you choose and have a great time. Otherwise, just grab any book. They're awesome and so much fun. Happy reading and thanks for joining me today. See ya.